You can use the Windows Configuration Designer to view settings and policies in a Windows 10 provisioning package to create and manage Windows provisioning answer files to define applications and drivers in an answer file to build provisioning packages to modify existing Windows installations. So you use this tool to create configuration change packages and you then distribute those packages to your existing Windows 10 devices. When you open up the Windows Configuration Designer tool, you'll see a window like this. You can use this to provision desktop devices, kiosk devices, which are those which users share, so you might find those in an open access area like a library, mobile devices, Surface Hub devices, and then advanced provisioning. It tends to be advanced provisioning that I use the most. It allows you to make changes to all configurable settings. Perhaps the best thing is to take a look at how to use the Windows Configuration Designer to make configuration changes by creating and deploying a packaging file. Okay, there are quite a few advanced things you can do with the Windows Configuration Designer. Um, what I'm going to show you now is how to create a shared PC mode using an ICD provisioning package and how to apply that package. So we'll start by opening up the uh, Windows Configuration Designer. You'll find that if you've installed the Windows ADK under Windows Kits as part of the ADK and Windows Imaging and Configuration Designer. As you can see here, you can use uh, Windows ICD to make a number of, of, of package types. We can provision desktop devices, kiosk devices, which are those that are running a single app, perhaps in a library or, or in some uh, open access area within your organization, mobile devices, Surface Hub devices, and then for all other things, you can use the advanced provisioning option. We're going to use advanced provisioning for this project. Now the first thing I, I need to do is enter a name. Uh, I'm going to call this Shared Workgroup PC because I'm going to enable this device, this computer, to be used by several people. I'm going to use the Windows Configuration Designer to configure that for me. This is where the project will be saved. I'm happy with that and I can enter a description if I want to. I'm just going to click Next. I can apply this to specific Windows editions, as you can see here, but I'm going to choose um, to apply it to uh, all Windows editions. Uh, sorry, all Windows desktop editions. If I've previously configured something, I can open up a, an existing provisioning package here. I haven't, so I'm just going to click Finish. So a new tab has opened with our project name. I can look at common IT Pro related settings, common Internet of Things settings, and so on. Uh, I'm just going to expand the runtime settings for uh, all settings. And then I'm going to scroll down here and select Shared PC. On the right hand side, I can enable Shared PC mode. I can set the account to be only a guest account. I can configure a deletion policy to delete files created by the sign-in immediately. And I can enable account management. Don't worry too much about what these settings do at the moment. It's more important we understand how we create a package and how we apply the package. I'll set power policies to true and then sign in on resume true and then over here click policy customization maintenance start time set that to be 60 that's the number of minutes after midnight indicating the beginning of a maintenance cycle click sleep timeout set that to be 1800 and then I'm going to save the file It tells me that it's stored the file here. If 
I click that, you can see where the customizations have been stored. This is, these are the project files. I'll minimize that for now and then click OK to that message. The next step for any uh, package is to export the file or export the package. I'm going to export the settings that I've created here to a provisioning package. The build wizard is launched. It, it pre-populates this with a, with a name um, and a version number in case I want to replace this with a subsequent version later. I can choose to encrypt and sign the package. If I sign the package, I need to specify a digital certificate so that uh, computers that are receiving this package update can be sure it comes from a safe source. Now, as I'm only distributing this internally within my organization, I'm not going to worry too much about that for now. So I click next here. This is the name of or the location where the package will be stored. So I'm just going to click next on that. And I'm happy with this summary here. As you can see, it's going to create a package file in the designated location. And I'm going to click build now. So we're finished. I'll open up the location here just for us to have a look at. You can see here the, the appropriate settings have been exported as a runtime provisioning package. So I've finished that. And I can now close the project. The next step would normally be to distribute the package file. Now it's stored locally on, on my file system. So uh, it's easy to locate here. I'll enable file extension so we can see what we're looking at. There it is, the shared workgroup pc.pp.kg. Kg. We would normally distribute that using some distribution method to our various devices, but um, obviously it's locally available here, so I can just double click the file. User account control prompts me. Yes, I want to continue. Is this package from a source you trust? And it tells me a bit about the package. And it tells me what the package is going to do. It's going to make some device customizations. Yes, I want to add it. Now let's verify whether that package has actually been applied. If I click start here and open up settings, then click accounts, then select access work or school, and then click add or remove a provisioning package on the right hand side here. It shows me that this package here has been applied today. And if I click details, it will tell me a bit about that. Changes device customization. So that's that's been applied. If we wanted to unapply it, we could remove it from the list of provisioning packages there. So click start here. And I'm going to choose restart. So the computer has restarted <laughs> rather quickly. You can see now I've got a, an option to sign in as a guest down here. That's been enabled by the package. So I'll click that and click sign in. It doesn't prompt me for a password or anything. And it prepares my desktop. There's my desktop. I'm going to open up a command prompt. You can see here um, that I've signed in with a random user ID, SHPTCTAC0FFEE. -E. So uh, it's nothing to do with any user account on this computer. That's been randomized because we're in shared PC mode. Let's have a look to see which groups I belong to. And I belong to uh, everyone, but nothing of any significance. When I sign out, my settings will be lost. And if I were to sign in again, a different user ID will be generated. The important thing to take away from this, though, is that we use the Windows Configuration Designer to create a package to configure this device into shared PC mode. We can also use the Windows Configuration Designer to make other significant changes. So, for example, we can use it to distribute an application package or make other configuration changes to the system. In the demonstration, you saw how to use Windows Configuration Designer.